Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the weekly news roundup from across the Trust. This week, we're coming to you from our paediatrics department because we have news of a surge in a childhood respiratory virus. Also today, we bring you a report about our commitment to the anti-racism movement, Root Out Racism. And we hear about a new carer's passport, which I hope will help provide support for our staff who look after a loved one outside of work. But first, RA&E is seeing a big increase in the number of young patients coming in with breathing problems. It's another effect of the lockdown. Kids are just haven't been mixing like they used to, and this is allowing winter bugs to arrive early. If you're worried about what to do if your child finds it difficult to breathe, here's consultant paediatrician Helen Jepps with more information. We're particularly seeing a lot of a condition called bronchiolitis, um, which is caused by viruses that for vast majority of people just cause a bit of a cough and a cold. And it's really scary for parents that haven't seen their babies necessarily get ill before because they haven't been mixing. But if the baby has a cough but is feeding well and is bright and alert, that baby can stay at home. If, however, parents are worried about their baby at any time and the sort of things you'd need to look out for, are they getting dehydrated with less wet nappies than usual? Or are they working really hard with their breathing and you'll see them pulling in around their rib cage and using these muscles? Or are they drowsy? Those parents should be seeking help on that day and using either their GP or 111. So if the baby is floppy, they've got a high temperature of more than 38 in a baby less than three months, or if they're having gaps in the breathing or putting a lot of effort into their breathing, we would want those babies to be coming straight to us, um, either through 999 or A&E. Thanks, Helen. That's really timely advice. Now, along with many other organisations across the West Yorkshire and Harrogate ICS, This trust pledged its support to a new anti-racism movement, Root Out Racism, at an event just this week. We're one of the largest employers in the district that cares for a richly diverse community, so we're passionate about our commitment to tackling racism head on. Here's Trust Chief Operating Officer Sajiva Zeb to tell us more. The Root Out uh, Racism movement is a, a movement which was created by ethnic minority colleagues to root out racism wherever it exists. The ultimate aim of this uh, movement is to tackle racism and to uh, help address the health inequalities that exist. The movement's really important to us here at Bradford. Uh, We've been doing lots of work in this area. We need to recognise racism and we've already done great work, but we mustn't be complacent and we need to continue in striving to root out any form of racism or discrimination wherever we see it. Any staff member or patient who sees any form of racism needs to call it out. They need to highlight it to us and we will tackle that. Ultimately, we want to become an organisation that's an outstanding organisation. We want to be an inclusive and a supportive environment for anybody and everybody, no matter where you're from or who you are. Thanks, Saj. What a positive message. Now let's pay a quick visit to other parts of the Trust to see what else has been hitting the headlines. The We Can Talk training is co-produced by young people that have experienced hospital admissions with mental health crisis. If you say to a young person, I'm really glad you're here, I want to help you, that makes such a difference to them and it makes their experience a lot more positive. really proud to have published our report on learning from COVID. It explains how, as a trust, we responded to the pandemic. It describes the lessons that we've learned. This learning will adapt our future services for the benefit of everyone. Wow, that's just fantastic news and congratulations to everyone and I'm wishing you lots of luck. Finally, we are very aware that many of our staff not only work extremely hard 
contributing to patient care whilst they're in work, but they also go home and spend hours supporting a loved one in a caring capacity. So to try and give them a bit of assistance, we're introducing a new carer passport. Here's HR officer Natalie Barnett to explain why the passport's needed and Head of Clinical Information Systems, Laura Jones, who's been caring for her mum for 18 years, to also give us her thoughts. The passport is aimed at um, all staff within the trust with them caring responsibilities. Statistics have showed really high percentage of um, staff who would rather leave the trust then share their concerns with their managers. And as a trust, we want to be able to support our employees with that balance and flexibility, but alongside the needs of the trust as well. I'm a carer for my mum. Um, I've looked after her for a number of years following physical and mental health issues. Um, I have to take her to all her appointments. I have to do her care needs, I'm responsible for her medication and her finances. I think the passport will help carers like myself open conversations with their managers and I think it will also normalise and empower managers to have those conversations. As an individual who happens to be a carer, my role is really important to me and supporting the organisation is. And without that support from my management, I would have to consider whether I can work. And that isn't a conversation that I think I should have to have purely because I'm a carer. Thank you both. What a great initiative. Well, that's it for another week. You can find out more about what's happening at the Trust each day by following us on the usual social media channels, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And I'd like to say a very happy Jamishtani to our Hindu colleagues, patients, and communities for Monday's celebration. Look after yourselves, and we'll catch up again next Friday. Bye for now. <laughs>